Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I thought we should take a look at Pundi X. I haven't done a video in a while. I think the last time I did was when we were talking about it changing over to from MPXS to Pundi X. I'm going to talk about this because, you know, is it still a good investment 2021? I think it is. If it sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're watching. I'm also going to show you some stuff that's been happening recently. Been checking the Twitters and the whatnots. Uh, just scroll up, you know, <laughs> all the way to the top. Before I dive into this, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please do your further research before you invest your money. That, be, that being said, look at the screen. So uh, Pundi X recently launched. As far as what I'm aware, it looks like they've launched their own blockchain. Because, you know, they were on... On uh, Ethereum chain for the longest time, the ETH scan. Uh, so yeah, you know, just going back on this just to confirm, it does look like that. And when you click on this explore function, you can see a bunch of blocks being created and stuff through the uh, Pundi. It's called Pundi X Chain, right? Uh, just to read it real quick, the dedicated payment-focused blockchain is the Function X ecosystem featured with low latency and low transaction fees. And when we look at the actual post, it says here, 20 to 25 companies, uh, company host validator nodes are set genesis block is created this is a good look because like it says here um does it say here uh, one of their posts I'll have to scroll down again again ethereum he, ethereum's slower than pundi x the fees are higher so you know if you can now start uh, processing get out processing transactions through their blockchain it's a good look um let's just see what else has been going on now this x post machine it says here and I, I, if I bring it to you later than this time, I'm sorry, but I'm sure if you, you know, you're know you a fan of Pundi X, you've been watching it, you could grab an X-Post machine for your business. What is it? It's a machine that allows you to walk in, well, people to walk in the store, take out the card, beep, just pay with crypto, you know, beep, just, okay, beep. You can pay, I don't know, you can pay with any crypto coin that you like, Bitcoin or whatnots, all on this machine and I've been telling you for the longest time I see this happening in the crypto space I see people walking into shops even if it's with a Pundi card whatever kind of card it is and you could just you know just like we see with the normal scanners you just scan the card and bomb pay with your crypto on the go this is saying you can get 40% off if you pay in Pundi so whether you did that or not I don't know if I brought it to you late I do apologize but I still think it's a good look especially you know if you if you're running a business and you want to accept crypto payments and you don't know how maybe look into this because if it is available to the full public this is big i'm telling you now and it would push the price it will it'll thrive it in the future you might see people fomo into this uh who's this super bit one two three it's just someone that got retweeted here something that got retweeted uh he talks about uh or she one of them it's taken ethereum months uh, to sort their uh, outrageous fees out but solid projects like pundi x getting the following done simultaneously and i agree with them look they've been doing a lot of stuff fx blockchain de uh, decentralized exchange uh, migrations unexpected bugs they're handling a, handling a lot of stuff and if you really want to you can click on these pictures here and break it down and see a bit more what's been happening q4 of 2021 introducing decentralized x post module again i think this module is really going to be a good look for the, uh, the project and it will bump the price now let's just take a look at price because right now i've got the mpxs so i just i brought up two so i've got the old version and the, you know the most recent version because some people may not have transferred their coins yet me being one of them and the reason i'm bringing this to your attention is because oh that's the blockchain because i just want to confirm and remind you that you can still change your uh, what well, you should do eventually because i don't know what's going to happen after the uh march 2022 because in march 2022 that's how long you've got to transfer your coins because you may be someone that got in like me years ago and if you haven't transferred your coins yet from uh, npxs to pundi x there's a slight chance you may lose it i'm waiting to do it till after christmas after new year maybe in january why because i'm hoping this is my thought here my thought process is i'm hoping uh eth 2.0 gets itself together transaction fees just drop really low because you know it's disgusting right now like if i uh, click swap right now and you want to swap your tokens it's gonna cost you like 100 pounds i checked it haven't got my ledger clicked in but 
you know, whether you're using a ledger, MetaMask, whatever you're using, uh, it's going to cost a, a bit in fees. And I'm just thinking to myself, is it worth paying that hundred pounds now? I mean, I don't know. I might be wrong. Maybe in January, it might, January might still be a hundred pounds, but I would rather, rather wait like, a little bit longer. Kind of get my words out. <laughs> and uh, what am I laughing for? And see if ETH can, you know, really sort this fee out because it's disgusting right now. And so, yeah, that's what I'm focusing on at the minute. Guys, if you haven't done so, make sure that you're prepared to transfer your NPXS tokens into PundiX. Please do, because you don't want to lose anything. Uh, but, yeah, I think it could be still a, could still be a good investment. Let me close this down so I don't get confused. Let's just focus on the recent price, the newest version of Pundi X price, because you can see there's a big difference. And I said this to you guys before, the supply has shrunk. So it's, you know, shrink, shrink, shrunk, shrunk, shrinking, shrunk, it shrunk. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Uh, the price shrunk. So the, 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 sorry, the supply. So the max supply right now is 250 million in supply. I'm trying to figure out in my head right now, what can I bring up that has 250 million in supply? I can't think. The closest I can think of that gets to it right now in my head, just off the, you know, something close to it. OMG, OMG has about 180, what is it? Let me have a look. OMG has 140 million in, in million million in supply so what we're talking an extra 100 million difference well omg right now is sitting on 10 pounds so you know if a coin with roughly 140 200 million can get to 10 pounds i have to believe that pundi x could probably see a similar price but i'll keep it very real and i think it can do it why because if you look at the market cap Right now, today, at the time of recording this video, the market cap is a $274 million market cap. Not billion, million. So if it did go to that, you know, the £10 price, what kind of market cap would we see? Take it, times the market cap by 10, you would be looking at a $2.7 billion market cap. And that is 10x your money. Just saying, if you had a thousand pounds, you turn it to 10 grand. When you see this go to 2.7 billion, uh, Pundi X is an interesting one. I think before it got changed over, it, how high did it go in its last cycle? Because this ain't going to show it. This just talks. This is only going to show what it did in its last cycle. Well, look, even still here, you know, when it first changed over, it went up to six quid, five pounds something, six quid almost. So you know, it can do it. Matter, matter of fact, if this was to hundred x your money, let's times that by ten again. Actually, just keep it real. Look, the market cap, what we see today, times it by a hundred. It could be doable. It would pull it out a $27 billion market cap. Now, remember this. And I've got to say this in all honesty, guys. We see coins pump that have not, that doesn't really have a major use case. Some meme coins. I'm not saying which ones, but we've seen them pump. And some have hit prices like this. Pundi X offers a huge use case. This X POS machine. I can see people that have businesses, people that want to start crypto business. You might want to start a business in crypto. You might only want to receive crypto payments. Why? Because you don't want to pay crazy tax. Because you real you do realize, right? You don't have to pay tax on your crypto until you dispose of the crypto. Or unless uh, well, yeah, dispose of the crypto. And then and then that's when they work out how much more gains you made from the price that you received crypto to where it appreciated. But hear this. If for some reason you took an X pos you've got a business you want to start, and I'm just saying, you only receive stable coins, BUSD, USDC, it will never ever appreciate in price. Just saying, because if it never appreciates, how can you pay tax on it? Because it's the same price as what you got years ago. Anyway, just print it out there to you, because you know this is how I think when I make a business. You know, start accepting crypto payments, get them stable coins in, and this is why the government don't like it. And I tell you what. It wouldn't surprise me if the government try hit up Pundi X next because you've seen what's been happening with the XRP and the whatnots because they won't like they don't like when some company like the Pundi comes and makes it so simple, so easy for people to do what they need to do with crypto. So, but no, you know what, Pundi X isn't a threat to anyone. I think it's super unique and I, I can see it doing really, really well. And you know, a hundred X is a twenty-seven billion market cap. Should it go there, guys? Should it go there? I'm just saying times 10, 10 pounds 60, times 100, you're looking at 106 pounds for Pandi X for one coin, one coin. And you can get one now for what price? One pound six pence. I'm just saying, what would that do for you? Because if you had a thousand pounds, well, essentially you're making a hundred grand. It's almost like a house. 
you can buy a house with a hundred grand and <laughs> ground grand and you're making that on this should it get to 27 billion market cap it's mad crazy ludicrous bum so uh, I thought I'd share this with you. What else has been going on? Let me just check the Twitter. Because, you know, there's so much different things happening right now. And I haven't spoke about this for a while, so I thought I'd bring you a quick update on this. Function X, do you uh, know DeFi? Uh, deposit service. So I guess uh, Function X is looking to do something with DeFi. I know you can stake Pundi X tokens and receive fun uh, Function X. Are you doing that? If you are, drop your comments down below. Let me know. Uh, what's this woman saying here? Uh, hold on, setting the standards for local businesses. Uh, US allowing Bitcoin payments, cigars. Okay, uh, something else. Uh, I'm just more interested in uh, what Pundi X Labs is posting. We completed award, uh, completed award distribution to all winners. So they must have done something there in, in the space of an event, in the space in relation to an event. Uh, but yeah, I'm just interested to see what's going to happen with this Q4 stuff because. Uh, they've been working hard. What's this say real quick? So this Pundi AMA oh, is not ask me anything. Some people see AMA and they're like, what's AMA? Ask me anything. Uh, so I, I, I won't play it now. You can check this in your own time. Uh, it looks like they've really broke down what this Pundi chain is going to be able to do. Uh, but it's, you know, it's pretty much like most of the other ones. It's saying here, low latency, low transaction fees, high throughput. Uh, so, you know, it's a good look. And it's about time that they finally had their own uh, blockchain up and running. So this is a good look. This is a really good special moment for Pundi X. I'm interested to see how this is going to go in the future. Do you like Pundi X? Drop that comments down if you do. Listen, Pundi X was one of the first coins that I got in my you know in my past you know it's one of my ones that i had because i really believed in the project i could see people using this everywhere and i still do believe it's going to do well so i'm not going to drag this out anymore i just wanted to share that with you if it's helpful to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching uh yeah if you want to become a patreon now's the best time trust me best time fresh month come click on the link in my info in the descriptions uh, patreon account I have seven tiers. Look, I'll show you the different ones because, you know, each tier does different things. If you want to be me annually, you know, because you can get some good gains over the year, save 10%. Grab me annually, whichever tier you want. Let me just click this and open it up. Exclusive VIP partner tier. This is the one I recommend. Why? Because this unlocks my post when I buy, when I sell, when I stake. You will see it all. If you want that little bit more, go for my CEO partner tier. Why? Because this will give you my super alerts. Where I talk to you way before I buy, way before I sell, way before I do anything, it's in my exclusive VIP partner, t uh, partner, I'll say partner tier, <laughs> in my exclusive VIP Telegram group. There you go. Uh, high crypto profile users in the space. Big money talking about big projects. So you don't want to miss out, guys. Check that one out if you can afford it. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.